Let's go down to Rome's. Your Minnesota Fighting Vikings need to get back to having the meets. Not only defensive line, but also offensive line. And it is my dream, perhaps wet dream, to finally have a, a top five offensive line. And I don't mean five, just up front, building a bully. And you got the pieces. You got Derisa, who could become one of the best young left tackles in the game if he can stay healthy. Knocking on all the wood. Brian O'Neill still a, a top right tackle and interior. TBD. T TBD, but the Vikings do have the resources and they should and could build a bully offensive line in front of their rookie quarterback, a TBD, uh, and they're doing some homework. So Purple Suasion pointed out that uh, on top of Christian Boyd, who's a stud, who I won the fourth round, uh, the Vikings also met uh, with Alabama offensive tackle J.C. Latham, uh, and Latham is seen as a first round pick potentially a high first round pick and it's it's interesting because you would think that you got Darisaw, you have o'neill uh latham is a uh, right tackle but we got we got plans we got plans so, so let's talk about jc latham today background uh 21 years young just turned 21 in february true junior uh former five star from waukesha wisconsin but don't hold that against him, uh, was the highest rated tackle of his high school class. Also spent a year at IMG, as a lot of the t uh, Tier 1 players are wont to do. Uh, committed to Alabama. Roll Tide. Uh, played some backup guard as a true freshman, and then the last two years has been the Tide starting right tackle. Uh, 2023, 81.9 PFF grade. Absolutely dominant in the run game. Blocks out the sun. Uh, only two sacks allowed uh, on 1,016 passing uh, reps in the Big Bad SEC, which is... Which is good. It's pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, first team all SEC in 2023. And size-wise, so... Our RAS did not do him justice, but th this is what we're dealing with, with Latham right now. So, uh, also, I love that uh, being 6'5 and a half is uh, only in the 48th percentile of height for a tackle. It's weird, but uh, weight 95th, wingspan 82nd, arm, arm length 82nd, hand size uh, 95th percentile, 11 inch hands, uh, 35 uh, plus inch arms. He's just. He's a monster. He, he's, he truly is a monster out there. And you know, scouting report has him as. Uh, yeah, Phil Lodeholt with a little bit better feet. I, I think that's fine. I, I think that's fine. Because remember when the Vikings had Bryant McKinney and Phil Lodeholt, just monsters at tackle? I want that back again. I want that back, man. Uh, the uh, NFL.com uh, scouting report lands their line at NFL comp. Juwan Taylor, hopefully with fewer penalties. Just a few. Uh, overview. Bulldozer in human form with the upper and lower body power to forcibly evacuate run lanes and instantly upgrade a team's ground attack. Uh, Latham's body type is girthy, uh, and he has uh, elite drive blocking talent. He has operated a variety of run schemes, but will be an average move blocker uh, both laterally uh, when climbing to the second level. Uh, his pass sets are well balanced with good initial quickness and active hands. He unleashes lefts and rights and mirrors effectively after contact, but gets beaten uh, by inside moves when he oversets. Uh, th that does tend to be a problem uh, with some of these plus size right tackles. Uh, he has the length and the hand strength to shut. Uh, rushers down, but he needs to be more comfortable uh, setting diagonally rather than vertically to avoid sinking too deeply into his own pocket. <sighs> uh, Latham's size, uh, strength, and talent give him a chance to become a heralded right tackle or Pro Bowl right guard. And I, I think that would be the plan with the Vikings, where <sighs> because, right, well, we'll get into it, but monster of a man, true rogue raider, and he would be a departure from what the Vikings have traditionally done with the undersized, uber-athletic, uh, outside zone type offensive lineman. And th this would be fantastic, getting back to have an ass. And also, you know, Latham, he, he's good in, in man and gap, obviously. Also, he's not a liability uh, in zone. Like, he, he, he can move enough especially given his size. He does wear his weight well, uh, not sloppy because – so w with Latham, like there, there's offensive tackles who are, are a bad uh, 360. Latham's a good 360. Yeah, he weighs it, wears it very well. Also, quick feet for his size. Uh, enormous hands with violence in them. Long arms is not going to be outlanked uh, on the edge by lengthy edge rushers. And does have some guard and tackle flexibility and all pro upside at both spots. And I think that could be the Vikings plan uh, in this spot where you know, they're going to ride with Brian O'Neill for you know at least this year. Uh, and we'll see what happens with the future. And with O'Neill, he is getting up there towards 30. The contract is getting edible towards the end there. Uh, and with Latham, I think that you could plop him in at right guard. So you don't, don't have to um, you know, juxtapose his, his footwork and he would be a stud right there. Like, 
Honestly, if you just put Latham in as a right guard for the rest of his career, I, I would wager that he would be pro ball, all pro caliber uh, immediately. And, and a shifting Ed Ingram to left guard wouldn't be the end of the world, even though you're flip-flopping sides, as Ingram does have extensive uh, left guard experience uh, from his time at LSU. And he would bring size, he would bring attitude, and frankly, uh, having uh, him in your back pocket, if and when you do part ways of Brian O'Neill, so having Darisaw and Latham, woo, two Enormous, monstrous, physical tackles. I love it. It's a good. It's a good start, man. But uh, th- this also would I- improve the interior offensive line play for an extended period of time. And also, what's interesting about it. So, so Latham is very solid as a pass protector. Ne- needs to work on some refined things, but that's every player coming to this draft. Uh, but if the Vikings say do take Michael Penix Jr. and his blind side becomes right tackle, all of a sudden Latham out there. Goes pretty valuable. Hmm. Uh, and in terms of the offensive tackle ranking, so, you know, people have him all over the place. I- I've seen him uh, ranked as a second tackle, uh, the number one right tackle in this class. Uh, and also, you know, I've seen him you know, in-, in the 20s. So it really kind of is what kind of flavor of tackle do you want? Do you want the uber polished left tackle in Joe Alt? Do you want the monster right tackle in Talisa Fawaga? Do you want the super flexible inside outside athletic uh, Troy Fatanu? Do you want the upside guy with Oli Fashanu? Uh, do you want the monster with Amarius Mims? Do you want the monster with JC Latham uh, at right, right tackle? I mean, there, there's this is a very, very good tackle class, but it's basically. Basically, the idea with Latham is the same idea that we floated with Talisa Fluaga before. Is I put him in a guard, kick him out to right tackle eventually. And could the Vikings potentially get Latham at 23? It's possible. Like, I, I wouldn't be shocked if he goes in the teens somewhere because, like we said, all it takes is one team, and it really is a what flavor of tackle do you want. Also, uh, I know that the Cowboys at 24 have done extensive work uh, on J.C. Latham uh, through the Combine and, and Pro Days as well. So, I mean, it, it could be a spot, too, where, I mean, if the Vikings are legitimately interested in Latham and they hang on to 23 somehow, some way, maybe they stick and pick, maybe they move up without 23, which is unlikely, but who knows. Uh, it, it could be a spot where the Cowboys are forced to leap the Vikings at 23 uh, if they do want Latham indeed, but I would love it. I, I would love it, man. Like, I know the Vikings have other needs elsewhere, but just bring in dudes. Just bring in dudes. And frankly, like I said, if the Vikings stick and pick, like they could take Penix at 11, sure. They could go a different direction at 11. Hey, Say that, say they want corner, say Terry and Arnold, say Quinn and Mitchell, or say they want edge rusher, Latu, Latu, maybe it's Dallas Turner gets 211. Say they go that route, and then they get Latham at 23. Whew. Come on. Come on, man, baby. We have the meats, and like we said, is tackle a supreme need? No, but in terms of BPA best player available just get dogs in here and also the fact that latham has guard flexibility uh, and can start right away week one at, at right guard before taking over for brian o'neill down the line that's got to be appealing it's got to be man but your thoughts are thoughts uh vikings meet with mammoth monster alabama right tackle uh jc latham roll Hi, to listen to your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull, production value.